Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you're all doing well. Today is the slow stitch collab with Susan Hyatt's art. I actually cannot remember the name of the collab. Sorry, Susan, I will link it. Well, it will be in the title and I will link Susan's channel below. So after you watch this video, you'll want to go to her channel and look for the slow stitching collab. And then under her, uh, after you've watched her video, look in the description box because she'll have a list of all the people who are participating in this collab. And this is an open one, so anybody could have uh, joined in. So I'm not sure how many people are going to be listed there, but if you want to learn something about slow stitching uh, or see some samples of slow stitching, I urge you to check out her channel and look below her in her description box after you've watched her video. So I'm just going to get get to it real quick. Um, I don't like my videos for collaborations to be too long because there's a lot of people to go through sometimes. So I just collected some fabric, um, different scraps of fabric, and I just picked some colors that went together, like little color groups that went together, and these are just small little scraps, so I, I, uh, I'm using those. I have my little bin of um, trims and little pieces of lace and fabrics, and this is just so fun to dig around. Look, here's even a little embroidered piece. Just all kinds of fun stuff that can be used uh, in in journaling projects or, you know, even uh, slow stitching, but even, you know, just to, to stick in your journal. I have this bag of... Well, I thought they were all cut out little circles of fabric. You know, someone was making some kind of quilt, I think, at one time, and, and these are just all circles. But when I was going through it to, to work on this project, I found out there are actually some uh, butterfly shapes in here in different fabrics, different sizes, bigger and littler. Then there's these really uh, big circles, too. Uh, and all different kinds of fabrics that, uh, here's a butterfly right here, all different kinds of like cottony fabrics with different patterns. So I thought, well, maybe that would be something that I could use. So I have that. And then I have this bag of different, it's not, this is not embroidery thread. The, the label calls it craft thread. You cannot separate these like you can embroidery thread, so you just use them like they are. But this was just a little bag that I got for a dollar, a bunch of different colors, so I brought that. And then I brought a little bit of my embroidery threads, uh, some needles, some small buttons, and so, now these colored pieces here are all just scrap pieces, but I have some uh, actual cards here. I didn't want to get out all my embroidery thread because I have another one of these boxes full of different colors and stuff. But since I had the craft thread, I figured I didn't need that much. And then the last thing I used was I really wanted to use some of this Tim Holtz Ideology Worn Warp Wallpaper. Th these are such beautiful patterns and I had thought actually about embroidering on paper. Um, and so I thought I'd, I'd try these to see if I could do that. So let me just show you my projects real quick. But before I do, when I, I have not done slow stitching like this before. Um, to me, it's just like hand stitching, like naive hand stitching. But this is the description that I got off Google. Slow stitching is an ancient practice, although the term is relatively new. To slow stitch is to take time to mindfully create something new through stitching with needle and thread. And I thought that that was a, a lovely description to be mindful when you're sewing whatever and to make something new out of something that's old. So all of mine are made out of something old. Um, this paper is, I think you can still buy it, but I bought mine years ago. So I consider everything old, all the fabric scraps and everything are just that scraps. So the first thing I made was this, this little piece here. And um, 
it is on this thick ticking fabric this is upholstery fabric and i don't know if someone bleached it or not but i mean not bleached it sorry starched it but it's super super stiff and I just used some different retro fabrics. I've got some circles back here. I've got two different blue fabrics here. And then one of these, these butterflies. And I, when I was putting it on, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna leave the, the wings loose. And I hope you can see my stitching. I did it in different colors so that it would stick out or, or you know, show a little bit more. So I was thinking of maybe putting this on a tag or something like that. I'm not going to put it on anything right now because I don't know how I'm going to use it, but it may even go on the front of a journal. I don't know. But let me just give you a piece of advice. If you want to try slow, st uh, slow stitching, if you have hand pain at all, like arthritis in your hands and working with needle and thread sometimes is painful for you, I would stick to thin cotton fabrics like these uh, that are very thin. The needle can go through really, really uh, easily. When you get to heavy fabrics like denim or this ticking or something, and then you're layering lots of fabric on top, it does uh, it does uh, put a lot of pressure on your, your hands and your fingers and everything. So if that's a problem for you, just be aware you know, that you want to stick with lighter fabrics where the needle can really slide through easier and you're not really pushing uh, to get it on. I, I don't, I, I do have hand pain. However, I take uh, Moringa daily, two Moringa tablets daily, and that has, I mean, I'm almost pain free. But yesterday I was feeling a little pain here when I was working on this and that's why I, it was on my mind to mention that. But okay, so there's that one. Get on with it, Helen. Then I decided to try doing just something on the paper here. So I made two little round uh, em embellishments and I hope you can see the stitching on this. Um, I did like a blanket stitch around the edge and then I just did some col colored stitching in the middle there. And then I made this one here. Again, with that wallpaper, I just did this little stitch on the outside and then a little stitching here. And these embellishments, I'm probably just going to stick on a page in a journal or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but I just I thought that they were so cute. And what I really, really on my bucket list is to learn how to crochet. And what I really want to do is to learn how to crochet on, on um, paper, you know, around the edges and stuff. So those are those two projects, or three projects. As far as I can tell, you know, like I said, slow stitch is very naive stitching. It's not perfection. It looks rustic and, you know, like a beginner did it. You know, even, even the uh, people who have been slow stitching, you know, I watched their videos, a couple videos and stuff, people who have been doing it for years, their stitches still look like this. They're not perfecting it to like a needlepoint status. Okay, so the last piece I did was this one here, and this is just on muslin, um, and I put some different uh, vintage fabrics. Those are all vintage fabrics. Then I have these little, um, what are these? Some kind of little, it came on this trim here. Uh, app, I think it's called applique, these kind of trims like this. I just cut it apart and put some here here and here and then I put another little piece of like green fabric underneath just floral fabric just to kind of make it look like leaves but there's one other thing and I'll just do one little piece of slow stitching with you here this little piece of fabric I wanted to just sew right here so all I have is just my needle and thread and I'm using this rather thick craft um, craft yarn or whatever whatever it was called and I'm just going to go ahead and um, sew this one on with you. Um, like I said I've never done slow stitching before. It was a lot of fun. All these projects I did pretty much in one afternoon, yesterday afternoon and um, I did work on this one a little bit. I did sew the little appliques on this morning but um, it's supposed to be mindful, so the point isn't to race through it. You know, I want, I'm working fast now because 
I, I'm doing it on the video, but if you read about slow stitch, I think you're going to find out that it's it's almost like a meditative process. You know that you. I mean, I don't understand it. I, I don't. I don't know that much about it, but it just seems like there's something more about slow stitching than just making the naive stitches. That it has something to do with, you know, feel well, well feeling or feeling well. You know, making yourself feel well. So I'm just gonna go around here and see if these stitches I'm making are fairly large, so that they would show up. Um, and I'm using, you know, I've used. On all my pieces, I've used at least two or three different colors of threads, and I think that that's really fun too. Um, and I don't know, I'll show you after I've done it. The fabrics that I'm using, because they are mostly cotton, are very fray, and plus I tore the edges because I like the frayed, frayed edge look. I did not clean up the edges. I'm actually just sewing over any of these large uh, bits of frayed thread that are hanging off. I'm actually sewing them right into the project. And I think it looks kind of cool to have those uh, just sewn in. Okay, that's how quick it took just to put this little piece on here. So then, you know, you just go to the back and you're just going to make a knot and tie it off. Um, and then I'm going to show you real, if, if I can get through here, I've got so many layers, there we go, I've got so many layers of, um, fabric on this one, and, um, they're going to be either glued to a, a journal page, or they'll be glued to some other paper to make them into a tag, so I'm not fussed about what the back looks like. You know, because the backs are pretty messy. But I I wanted to show you, if you can see, like, right here is the thread from the, the edges. I'm just leaving them all there. And on this piece, where's my, this one here, on this piece in particular, I took pains to actually sew, sew all the loose edges from these cottons into the piece itself just to add some more mess on the front some more mess on the front so guys those were my little slow stitching uh, projects Susan thank you again for a, a wonderful challenge and this really taught me something new I am uh, I can sew on a sewing machine I've sewn plenty of garments. I used to work in a fabric store and everything, but I've never done slow stitching like this other than like maybe when I was like eight, you know, making something in school for mom for Mother's Day or Christmas. But I really enjoyed it and it was fun laying everything out, laying all the scraps out and everything and, and putting it all together. And I hope that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Hello to all of my new subscribers. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, I encourage you to go back and look at some of my, my other videos and see if there's other things that you might like. And don't forget to check out Susan's uh, video and then the description box, all the other people uh, playing in this collaboration on slow stitching. Guys, until the next video, I hope you are all truly blessed. Bye-bye.